Hi everybody, welcome to another end game study. In this position it's white to move, and as always, pause your video, try to find the solution, and then when you're done, we will work it out together. So what is going on here? I mean, we're obviously, materially, we're losing. So we must have some kind of trick in this position to save the game. What is that trick? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Probably we have to play like some kind of check to start things off. Which one? I think I see it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's not really super complicated. You just have to find the right geometric move. And, and the idea is simply knight to e2 check. Now the king has five squares. King e4 runs into this. King d5 runs into this. So we've eliminated this square and this square. Let's keep going. Um, hmm. Well, this one I haven't eliminated yet. But let's say if this square... I was going to play check, king here, knight to d4, and if king here, rook to d6, and that does eliminate that move, because if, oh wait, no it doesn't, uh, wow, wait, <laughs> what, that's crazy, wow, alright, we're going to get to that in a minute, because it's crazy, um, but if king here, rook, check and if, you know no matter what the king does we fork the king and the queen so basically and if, if king here rook check the only move is king d3 if bishop e4 rook takes followed by knight c3 when the king takes the rook if king f3 knight to d4 so this is why it's amazing so king to d3 rook check and just look at this geometry that happens so king c2 allows knight d4 the only move is this Rook check, if king here, rook d5, followed by knight c3. So king to b3 must be played. Now we have this cool move, rook to d3. If bishop takes knight d4, queen takes knight c1. How about that? So the king has, again, four squares. This one, or five squares. Six squares, I lied. Um, if king to a4, knight c knight c3, king to b4, knight to b, rook to b3, followed by knight to d4. If king to c4, we just go back, sorry, go back to where we came from. If king to a2, knight to c3, king to c2, knight to d4. And the last move is this one, and I believe we just have rook to d2. Now again, if the king comes back to a3, Rook to a2. It's unbelievable. Every square, there's like a new way to do it. If king to b3, knight to d4. If king to a1, rook to a2. Wow, this is incredible. And if king to b1, knight to c3. And if a bishop to c2, rook takes. I gotta be honest, it's short. I mean, it wasn't super hard, but like it's kind of incredible that every single king square we have this crazy little trick with the knight. I mean, I, I didn't expect it was that deep when I played knight e2, but it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. There's like 15 different ways that we end up forking the, the queen and the king. Like, never seen anything quite like that. So very, very cool puzzle. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow with another in-game study. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.